It took nearly two decades in service for the F-22 Raptor to record its first air-to-air -air kills, both of which have come within the past week. But neither kill was against the jets. It was actually designed to fight. U.S. officials said an F-22, a fifth-generation stealth fighter jet, shot down an unidentified, high-altitude object over Alaskan airspace on Friday that was flying at an altitude of 40,000 feet and posed a threat to the safety of civilian flights. The Pentagon described the object as being around the same size as a small car. The U.S. Northern Command successfully took down a high-altitude airborne object off the northern coast of Alaska at 1.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today within U.S. sovereign airspace over U.S. territorial water. On February 9, North American Aerospace Defense Command detected an object on ground radar and further investigated and identified the object using fighter aircraft. The object was flying at an altitude of 40,000 feet and posed a reasonable threat to the safety of civilian flight. U.S. Northern Command is beginning recovery operations now. This incident comes nearly a week after an F-22 downed a Chinese surveillance balloon, which a top U.S. commander said was 200 feet tall and carrying a payload the size of a jetliner, as it was operating at over 60,000 feet off the coast of South Carolina. Both jets fired a single AIM-9X Sidewinder air-to-air -air missile to down their respective systems. The engagement with the Chinese spy balloon marked the first known air-to-air -air kill for the F-22, as well as the first apparent use of the AIM-9X against a balloon target at that altitude, and Friday's mission against the object brings the F-22's tally up to two within just a few days. The Chinese high-altitude surveillance balloon that a U.S. fighter jet recently shot down is part of a broader global operation carried out by Beijing, and their mission has been to collect data on various militaries. Pentagon Press Secretary Brig General Pat Ryder revealed that this was not an isolated incident. This is a program that's operated for several years. Ryder said the purpose of the Chinese surveillance balloons was to study strategic sites, including strategic bases in the continental U.S. The general added that the scope of this program extends across five continents and includes regions like Latin America, South America, Southeast Asia, East Asia, and Europe. This global surveillance operation has been collecting intelligence on other countries' militaries in case there's an increase in tensions or if a conflict erupts. The Chinese balloon program has gathered information on military assets belonging to the Philippines, Japan, Vietnam, India, and Taiwan. Some of these countries border the strategic South China Sea, where Beijing has made sweeping territorial claims and built up its military presence in the region. It has also increased its aggressive behavior toward the self-ruling democratic island of Taiwan, actions which the Pentagon has described as provocative and destabilizing. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said President Joe Biden authorized the military on February 1st to shoot down the balloon as soon as it could be done without risking the lives of those below. On Saturday, the U.S. Air Force F-22 fired the IM-9X Sidewinder missile to take down the balloon as it was operating between 60,000 and 65,000 feet. While the U.S. Navy worked to recover debris from the water, China's foreign ministry lashed out at the U.S. for downing the balloon, calling the move unacceptable and irresponsible. U.S. officials have pushed back on this, stating that the balloon violated sovereign airspace and that the military acted accordingly. Development of an advanced tactical fighter began in the 1970s, and the F-22 Raptor, a byproduct of that program manufactured by Lockheed Martin, was first introduced in 2005. Nearly 190 operational aircraft were built before production ended. According to the U.S. Air Force, this fighter aircraft was seen as a solution to the threats posed by the Soviet Union's Su-27 Flanker and MiG-29 Fulcrum, and also China's Shenyang J-11. The F-22 emerged as the top U.S. air superiority fighter, one that continues to provide advanced air combat capabilities even in the face of new challenges from Russia and China, both of which are developing their own fifth-generation jets. The F-22 is 62 feet long and with a wingspan of over 44 feet long, has two engines that can each produce 35,000 pounds of thrust, and is capable of traveling at supersonic speeds. As for its attack capabilities, the jet can strike ground targets from high altitude and at cruise speeds and engage enemy aircraft. In the air-to-ground configuration, the F-22 can carry a pair of 1,000-pound GBU-32 joint direct attack
attack munitions internally. The aircraft can drop bombs can be dropped from 50,000 feet while flying at Mach 1.5 and hit moving targets up to 24 miles away. Despite having operational experience in Syria in the 2010s targeting Islamic State assets, the advanced fighter has never recorded a confirmed air-to-air -air kill, but now it has two. The Chinese surveillance balloon that an F-22 shot down on February 4 showed up amid heightened tensions between Washington and Beijing. But it's not immediately clear what exactly the F-22 downed over Alaskan airspace on Friday.